Hello there guys, my name is JL Gimpy Dwarf from the Dream Assembly. So, today's Thursday, and what have they released on Space Engineers? Because, of course, Thursdays is update day. So, they've added batteries, which means we now have the power to recharge and, you know, use an energy source that isn't a reactor now, so you can have small ships that can go out and scale and come back with just enough power to get back to the ship, park up, recharge and go again. So that's one of the features. They've also added in a new antenna broadcasting system which is a little complicated but it works on sort of you have like different ways of you know broadcasting to people and you can detect enemies and things like that. So you can now pick up if somebody isn't in your faction and they are classed as an enemy. Another another thing they've added is a new world option um, but I'll show you that in a sec when I go to create the new world. And they've also added the power to copy and paste onto other ships. So you can copy a, a copy and paste um, some sort of system, like a rotor system that you've been working on. You can basically just copy and paste that and drop it onto a ship now. As long as it's the same size of ship, you can do it. Which is really, really awesome. So, let's go... Oh, why am I going load world? I wish to go... New world. And let's go custom. Now, we're going to go in easy start one as normal. Go into creative. And autosave has been moved onto this page now, so they're slowly mixing things around with the custom world section. If you go into advanced, however, there is an option now called client can save. So I believe, oh wow, there's actually a few things. There's permanent death as well, I never noticed that. So basically if he dies, he has no available medical room, so you just die. It's a bit dark, but you just die. I'm going to turn that off. Um, we're going to put that on, that on. But yeah, you have this client can save. So I believe this is people... Um, basically, you turn it on if you want your friends to save, I believe. Um, so, say if your friend wants to make a save of the world, you can allow him to do that. But if you don't want anyone making a save of the world, you can kind of stop them doing that by uh, turning off client can save. So that's a good thing, because some people can have their ideas used and other people claim it as their own and things like that. It can get a bit hairy. But we're going to create a new world now and I can show you the batteries because hopefully they've updated this to have some ships with batteries available on them. But if not, I'll just add them on and just, you know, oh, we're in. That's good timing. Now, we have all these rotors, yada yada. Now this ship here, as you can see, there is that weird block behind the cockpit. What is this? It's a battery. So this is what a battery looks like. I'll drop it down here. This is what a large battery looks like. There are a few different modes you can have it in. Um, but this is basically the main mode. It's got faces on all of it that you can access. The texture isn't the best. I must admit, to other blocks, there's not much detail gone in, into it. It'd be cool if there's like some sort of weird pixel sort of, you know shapes and stuff but it's you know it's their own art style so I'm gonna you know just you know accept that so if I go into here I see you've got battery 3 if I turn it's already on but if I go recharge this will actually begin to recharge so that red light is gone so it's running it's it's you know no longer you know sort of out of power it's actually recharging the power and as you can see here it's actually gaining power from the sun which is those solar panels in the background so, this has like, um, it's the types, it's battery, I, I believe you, well, I be you can still rename it, but I don't think you can change that. Um, the fact that they've got a type in here may mean that they've got different types of batteries, maybe, in the future. Um, because you wouldn't put a type of battery in without actually having, you know, multiple things. So, you have the max output, which is 4 megawatts. You have the max input required, which is, of course, 4 megawatts. So, the max stored power is 1 megawatt per hour and the current input is 4 megawatts and the current output is 0 because it's not actually powering anything at the moment while it's in recharge mode it will not distribute power to anything so you know make sure you have your batteries off of recharge so they you know can give you the power that you need to fly and whatnot so this is actually charging very slowly it's fully recharged in 14 minutes the reason why is because you've got only solar panels doing it wait as if I were to actually get this um, well I'd actually get this reactor um, maybe put three down you'll probably notice it'll most likely go like three times quicker so if I go K 
as you can see, this is going up by one every, well, one point something every second-ish now. So that's actually going really quick now, well, quicker than what it was, which is good. But if you have a large reactor, it can charge at its quickest. Now, batteries open up a multitude of different um, ideas. Basically, you can have, like, operating areas. Um, such as like antenna sections which you can use to scan enemies out and if they run out of power you can of course go up to them and recharge them using your ship which may have a large reactor on it, it's just purely there to distribute the power to it. So there are things like that and of course you can now have like hybrid sort of ships so you have a battery that you use and then you would turn on your reactor when you need it to recharge the you know recharge the in the battery and everything so you can now have like hybrid systems in ships which I'm going to be doing definitely because they're useful as hell to have a backup energy source definitely in a ship especially if like you know your main reactors get shot out and you're doomed these two are on charge so I'm going to turn them off charge now as you can see they go green when they're on charge, when they are turned off completely, they will go red. So they'll just go all four bars red. And you can show them on HUD as normal. And you can set the ownership to certain people to access them. So you can have the one guy who's just purely dedicated to, you know, editing with these and changing up what they're actually doing. Now this actually isn't using anything currently because the solar panels have kind of taken over but if I were to get rid of these solar panels and turn them off solar panels and the small reactors as well um, can I turn these off? ok so solar panels don't have actually have a turn off button strange so let's turn off these small reactors now if I go in here that should be distributing I believe <laughs> god come on um, large large there's nothing on. What if I just to delete the solar panels? Apparently you cannot turn off solar panels anymore, which is kind of sad. They used to have like a turn off feature, which isn't actually on here now. So that isn't depleting at all. No, re no idea why. Um, are there any other things charging this? Those two. Oh wow, whoops. I broke it. I have no idea what is, what is keeping this going. Maybe it's because I'm in survival, uh, I mean creative, so it's not going to use the power. So, oh, that's that actually just turned around and, yeah, here we go. Current output is 625.75 kilowatts, stored power is 1, and fully depleted in 2 hours. So, this is actually being used up now, so I was just being stupid as normal. So that's one of the features. Now! My favourite feature, even though they've had a new block, my favourite feature is the fact that if I go new station and just generate something a bit weird and wonderful, and that's like a station of its own, I can copy this, <laughs> and now I can place what I've copied directly onto this, and I can rotate it appropriately, I believe, as well. I believe. Um unsure apparently there's like a rotate feature that allows you to rotate the block but you know I can't seem to find that but as you can see I can place directly onto another station now with the shit with the actual you know blocks rather than building you know building onto them you can take what you want and just add it on as like in a little bit you know just, just in case you build things in sections and then you want to add it in you can rotate stuff but I, th I think it may be just in large ships maybe I'm, I'm I don't know. Let's let's drop this down and give it a bit of a test. So if I do this, this, and this, make a bit of an odd shape. Delete that. This hopefully will. There we go. So it allows you to rotate stations. Won't well because stations don't move. So that's that's my main reason why. Um, and you can just drop things down and copy and paste them as such, which is amazing because again it. The amount of things that it just adds to, you know, what you want to actually try and achieve with something. You can build it in a module and then like add it on later, rather than building it in like a confined space maybe. Now, they have antenna platforms. Well, this is believe I believe this is just called an antenna platform. But if I actually go into here and grab an antenna, it should just be called an, an antenna, shouldn't it? Is it antenna? Yeah. So you have this like antenna platform in the starter world. 
and this allows you to broadcast so far and you can select how far you want to broadcast and of course it will take more power judging on how that actually killed the power then, my god um, so that will actually kill the you know, it will kill the power source if you go infinite but you can use this to detect enemies now I cannot show you because I don't have anyone in this world obviously but I'm sure when people start creating more hardcore worlds as such and when sectors are available we'll be able to send out sort of signals to different people so we know where, in it, where our enemies are and where our people, you know, where everyone else is so in this area that this antenna creates you'll be able to basically see what you want to see I believe there are a few rules with it but again I can't show you and the Space Engineers video tried its best to understand to me how they work but I work better, I learn better from doing so as soon as I actually do stuff I'll figure it out myself so I hope I've helped you out and you know helped you out with this uh, with this new update it's you know a few more things added. My thing I would wish for them to add next is more interior style blocks like beds and desks and things just because I need more to put inside space areas you know but again they want they want the items that they put into the game to have a purpose not just be random miscellaneous items but it, they can just be decorate, like decorative blocks for all I care. I mean I don't really you know it just bothers me that I don't have that many interior blocks currently, just things to sit in. You want something to lie in, really. And maybe like a suit rack, and maybe, again, like pressure and things that you'll be able to take your suit off and things. I have all these ideas and weird and wonderful jibber-jabbers. But that has been the update, and I hope I have helped, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.